hello campers. Uh, I'm going to talk today about uh, heating uh, a small trailer like an A-liner, so this applies to any of them. Now, of course, if you're hooked up to electricity, I mean, the no-brainer is to use a space heater like you see, a small space heater. Uh, that's plenty to, to heat up a small trailer like an A-liner. Um, and you might say, well, I have a heater already installed. Usually the heaters that are installed in trailers uh, are gas heaters. And why would you use that and waste your gas if you have electricity when you could just use a small space heater? So really the big question is what do you do when you're not hooked up to electricity? What do you use? And so that's the main part of what we're going to talk about. So not, no sense talking about space heaters. You can find them all over. They're pretty cheap. So let's talk now about gas heaters. So there's a wide variety out and the one I actually use uh, is not a for sale anymore, which I'll explain why in a minute. Um, one I use here, this is a old Coleman. It's got like I call it a cat heater. It's called a sport cat actually. So a sport cat. You might find them on eBay or used. You won't find them out anymore. I will show what's available new, like on Amazon or wherever, uh, and I'll explain why they don't make these. But this basically, as you can see, uh, you screw the propane bottle into the bottom right here and that's how it works. This particular one only has an off and an on button. When you turn it to the on position, okay, uh, gas will start uh, coming out and then you just light it with a lighter and you'll hear like a pop and heat will start coming out and if it's dark it'll actually glow so there's really no way you could not see it or step on it because it's glowing at the top when the lights are out. Alright, so that's basically how it works and to turn it off you just turn it off. Now you might say well that's dangerous inside of a small trailer. Well not really if you just follow a few simple precautions. First of all A-liners are drafty anyway. They're not really well insulated and you know that in itself makes it very little risk. But of course you've got to crack a few windows. I crack three windows that might be overkill but I crack three windows when I do it, uh, I crack uh, the one facing out right there. I have that cracked open. I have the door window cracked open, and I crack open uh, one of the upper windows. I crack that open. And so I've used it. It uh, works good up till about, well, it wor it'll work anytime, but I use it when it's in about the high 30s or the 40 degree mark. In the 50s, it might get too hot. What it will do is it will there's no temperature regulation so it'll definitely keep it from getting cold you can wear t-shirts inside you know you'll still need blankets but you're not freezing when you get up it's not a situation where you do not want to even get out of bed it's so cold now will it work lower than the high 30 sure it'll work it'll take the edge off but the colder it gets you know the less effective it will be as far as keeping you at a reasonably warm heat and what's great about this particular one, the Cat brand, a Sport Cat, and I'll show you the equivalent that's out there now uh, on Amazon, is it will go for at least 12 hours or more. I've had them go up to 14 hours of continuous heat. And so that allows you to, you know, maybe turn it on at 8 p.m. or so, and it'll be going at 8 a.m. the next morning. So you don't have to worry about changing the bottles in the middle of the night. It's not going to go out on you. So again, the key is cracking the windows. It should be perfectly safe. I've done this many times. And it keeps things nice and comfortable. Now, where do I sit this heater? I sit it right here in the sink. So let me just screw the bottle in, and I'll show you uh, how I do it. Okay, so now we have the bottle screwed in, and I have it laying in the sink. That's the best place I've found, the safest. You don't have to worry about knocking it over. And as you can see, I have it on one of those little discs, the bottle, and that gives it a lot of stability. It's not going to fall over. Certainly could put it on the floor, but, you know, it is a little risky that it could get knocked over. And if you have dogs or kids or something, even worse. So this is a safe place to put it right there in the sink. All right, so, you know, you'll be running it during the night. Sorry about that. You'll be running it during the night, and... Uh, Again, it'll be a little bit of a glow. It makes no noise at all, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and you got 12 to 14 hours of time. So, you know, you really can't complain about that. That that works really well. Again, 
vent a few windows and again just crack the windows that's all you need to do and it's very simple you want something that will last all night you don't want to have to get up and change the bottle that kind of defeats the purpose and there's a lot of stuff out there like that will only last four to six hours and that's just, I don't think that's what you want you don't need a big heater for these little trailers this is plenty of heat it's just a trickle of kind of heat you know a little steady little bit of heat that's coming out of the top and that's plenty to keep your trailer warm enough so let's okay now why are these sport cats no longer available from Coleman uh, basic thing is uh, they do not have uh, the chip in it that uh, little carbon monoxide uh, detector that will shut it down these do not have those and uh, Coleman stopped making them I researched this uh, several years ago what happened was there was another heater they had, propane heater. It wasn't this model. And some people died. They, they had themselves in a tent or a cabin, and they didn't have any ventilation, and they died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Again, they didn't follow the directions. Really, it was, it was really their fault for not doing that. But Coleman decided they didn't want to deal with lawsuits. They didn't want to deal with the hassle. And they just plain stopped making them. Uh, there's really nothing wrong with them at all. If you find these sport cats on you, you just got to be smart and follow the precautions and it will it will work you know I mean even if you buy something that has a sensor on it that will shut it down a carbon monoxide center although a lot of these trailers have carbon monoxide uh, carbon monoxide detectors in them even if you buy something like that you still want to vent and that's still what the directions are going to say so I you know certainly would not trust my life to a sensor and say oh well I'll close it up if it has a sensor uh, I'm not going to trust my life to a sensor that could go, go bad or uh, not work properly. You always have to vent. So I really, there's really no reason to worry about a sensor uh, on a product like this. But of course you're not going to buy anything new from what I can see without the sensor now. But if you can find something used like this, uh, it should be fine if you follow the precautions. Okay, now here's one option that if you want to buy something new, this is a Mr. Heater, the little buddy. Um, and like the one that I showed you in my trailer, you don't require any battery power. Okay, there's no battery power required. And again, that, if I didn't mention that, that's a problem with the heaters installed in some of these small trailers. Uh, the heater installed requires battery power, and you can run down your 12 volt battery in one night in some cases. That's why they're just not good options. The problem with this Mr. Uh, heater little buddy is that it only lasts according to the description five and a half hours okay and like I said the one I have the old Coleman cat heater runs at least 12 hours about 12 to 14 hours so that's you know this is better than nothing but this is using a lot more gas and you really don't need to burn that much gas to keep a little trailer like an A-liner heated so we'll see what else we Okay, here's another option I found. This one uh, says it runs about seven hours, which is a little bit better, but it's really way overpriced. A hundred dollars? Uh, no, no way. You know, I paid, I think, twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars for that heater I showed you. Um, so I can't believe it'd be this expensive. And the reviews are not very good on this heater. So I don't know about this, but seven hours is closer to what you're. Okay, now probably the best option on Amazon if you want a heater that will last most of the night or all the night is uh, the Mr. Heater uh, Buddy Indoor Safe. This is a little bit larger, uh, but it's a lot more expensive. This is over $100, but according to the uh, question and answer, you can get about 8 to 10 hours of heat. And, you know, that's, for me, that's what I would want. I would not want to have to change a bottle uh, overnight, but, you know, that's up to you. There are cheaper options where you would. Uh, we'll check, uh, let's see if anything is on eBay right now, uh, just to see if, if the heater I use is on there. Okay, so we're on eBay now, and yes, there are indeed a lot of them available, it looks like. Uh, prices are pretty high, pretty hefty. There's 135 plus 17 shipping. You know, I can't speak to the condition these are in, although they're pretty simple devices. I mean, they're either, I think they're either going to be working or not working. But it's not surprising that the prices would be up there uh, because they're not being made anymore. So there's a very limited supply of these products. But, you know, even some of the high prices that are on here, I think they're a better option 
than what's on Amazon unless you want something brand new and unless you want something with a sensor that will detect low oxygen levels or that will detect that the flame is out and shut it down. I, you know, I can certainly understand, uh, you know, taking those precautions. I'm just saying if you have your uh, trailer properly vented, it really won't matter if the gas is running and there's no flame. It, 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 you should be safe. So that's why, you know, to me, this is a better option. But so, you know, we've thoroughly looked at this. I think these are, are the best bets. So if you have any questions about heating your trailer, uh, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to get back to you.